General Vaklu is fighting the Sith. Men, attack the Sith. Protect the General. Yes? Have you come with questions? Very well. What is it that drives you? Very well. Of which did you wish instruction? With this form, your use of the Force will have more damaging effects, but it will drain you as well. Effective, but only if conventional means are having no effect. Very well. What is it that drives you? That crystal is bonded to you. Through you, it acquires its character and strength. And through it, your power is enhanced. Most interesting. Your crystal does not perfectly... Re is there something else?
could stop her. Kawana bota yuta tanga kinamatura, ta yaita ta bosana nansa ta, unta chiwita inka kikraya na chawanga kone. Everyone, we have to stop the Sith here. The fate of Isis depends on it. Yeah, what do you want? Gopo mi chuba king borakatun. Chuba kun ne bedwana ni bobo ki.
General, that clue is the rightful rule. The plan seems to be working. The Sith and their forces went to the north, but the beasts turned on the Sith and us. It is chaos behind me. In order to get to the throne room, we'll have to open the security door. There are security terminals to the north and south. Both terminals need to be deactivated to open the way to the throne room, which means you'll have to deal with the Sith to the north and Talia's royal guard to the south. My officer will catch up to you once you've secured one of the terminals. He can escort you back here quickly if you desire. Then we deal with Talia and her hand-picked soldiers. And you'll have to face Master Kavar. I admit, I used to doubt you could defeat him. But Master Kavar is no match for you.
Shall I take you back to Colonel Tobin now? Follow me. Shall I take you back to Colonel Turbin now? Follow me. Well done. There is just one last obstacle before the throne room. The beast that was used to break through the force field into the throne room lies ahead. No doubt it has slain its Sith handlers and now has a taste for human blood. Ignore the beast! Into the throne room! The Queen must die! Oh, blast it all! So, you've come to us. I had thought coming to Doxon might cause our paths to intersect, and I see that I'm right. But it turns out you were the enemy all along. The connection between these places and you was stronger than I knew. I told the other masters that our only chance to figure out what was happening to us was to find you, to try to understand what happened to you. What a fool I was. And now you are no doubt seeking to destroy the Jedi. But the remaining Jedi will gather again very soon. This, at least, you cannot prevent.
Telos? But Telos was destroyed during the Jedi Civil War. I, I don't know what you mean. Atris? But I thought she died with the rest on Qatar. You've met other Jedi, I can tell. But you won't find me an easy opponent. I will not give you the benefit of my wisdom, Dark One. Very well. Perhaps my knowledge will sway you from your dark designs. I was one of the only council members who believed in you. Part of me still does. So what do you have to say for yourself? What do you expect me to say? You defied the council, you followed Revan to war. I know why you did it, but in so doing much more harm was done. All those lives during the Mandalorian Wars, and all those you served beside. Too much death leaves echoes in the Force. It is the price for having such connections. Apparently, your self-inflicted wounds would not heal. And now that they've festered, you've come looking to the Jedi for vengeance. As if we were somehow responsible for the results of your actions. When you stood before us in the Council Chamber on Coruscant, we felt something from you we'd never felt before. It was as if the Force had died within you, leaving you hollow. We live our whole lives in touch with the Force, in touch with life all around us. And you had a gift in that regard. You form bonds so easily, and they flow deep between you and others. To see such emptiness in the Force standing before you, it's not an easy thing to face. Whatever is attacking us, it's leaving something in its wake, something we haven't felt since you stood before us in judgment. The deaths of these Jedi, the destruction of Qatar, all of these things are leaving behind echoes, like the one we felt from you in the Council Chamber. It was clear to us, to me, that we had to find you, but we couldn't call you back from exile because we didn't know where you'd gone. I know that all too well. I came here to find them, to trace them to their source. The war on Duxon and Onderon. I thought that perhaps the tragedies that occurred here were concealing them. And now, here you are. the others the secrets of the Jedi. Your time is at an end, Talia. Your people have abandoned you, and now your life is forfeit. You would destroy everything just for your ambition, Batlu. The Republic, ISIS, everything. That is a gross simplification, Talia. Change is a painful process. A price must be paid. But Onderon will have a new destiny, one larger than you could imagine. You're getting careless, Vaklu. One more mistake, and you're the one who will pay the price. Her mastery of the blade has improved, but there is more to leadership than skill with a blade. Jedi, do you want to take care of her? 
I will not forget this. Do what you will. I will not fall easily. <laughs> This could not have happened without you. You will be given everything I promised you. I risked a great deal by asking for your assistance, as did you in helping. Your reward is well earned. Even if I didn't have a reputation to maintain, I'd be a fool to break those promises. I know who you are. You are the last of the Jedi, hunted by the Exchange, the Sith and the Hutspawn knows who else. They've thrown everything they have to capture and kill you. But you cannot be stopped. If anyone could save us from our fate, it was you. After we've secured the city, and that will take time, you will always be welcome here. If the Republic hunts you down as a price of your ambition, this place will be a haven to you. I will never forget what you have done this day. As do I, Jedi. As do I. Your shuttle is awaiting you. After the Civil War is taken care of, which will take time, you are welcome back. I sense the conflict on Onderon even from this dense jungle. Did everything go as you planned? Onderon will stop bleeding for a time, but wounded things rarely stay mended for long. We should return to the Ebb and Hawk now and plot our next course of action. I wish to show you something. Not with words, but by feeling it, with the Force. Close your eyes. Feel the universe. Strip away the life on board the ship. Someone is creating an echo, a resonance in the Force. Someone is consuming life, using it to feed their hunger. Each dying world creates an echo in the Force. And as the echoes build, it becomes a noise. Deafening. Destructive. It touches all life in ways that are invisible to see. The darkness, the despair created from such events breeds and grows. Someone is bringing the dark side to the galaxy through destruction. A critical point is approaching. And the wound must be healed. Yes, is something wrong? You have no wounds that I... I imagine in your... Something up? All right. No.
Thank you.